Hey guys, so I'm back today with another video. Today I'm going to be talking about the MCAT and how it was for me, like the whole experience itself. No, I can't actually talk about the test because it's illegal, but I can tell you about how the experience was, um, what kind of things I brought with me to the test center and all that good stuff. Before I get started, I wanted to introduce myself. My name is Rachel. For those of you who don't know who I am, I am no longer a student because I graduated, but I'm still pre-med. So I plan to go to medical school and this channel is kind of about my journey to medical school. And if you're interested in that kind of stuff, then please go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. And yeah, now we can get started with the video. So I guess first I'll tell you about the things that I brought with me. Uh, I wanted to make sure I felt really comfortable during the exam, so I actually filled my purse with a bunch of stuff. For me, things that made me comfortable that I know I wouldn't need, but it made me feel better if I did have them, which was um, tissues, baby wipes, aspirin, Motrin, Tums, Tylenol cold, cough drops, um, did I say baby wipes, like hand wipes, and um, earplugs, that was a must, and then the eye drops. And then I brought some study material and snacks and water and a little tiny Yerba Mate energy shot. So now I guess I'll go into the actual experience. I barred it to my test center and I got there an hour before the test was supposed to start because my test started at 8. So I got there at 7 o'clock and I checked in and they made us wait in this little lobby. And it was really weird because everybody was kind of freaking out. but. I don't know, it was just awkward because some people were studying like last minute, other of us were just sitting there. So it was kind of weird, so we had to wait and then we got escorted up to the sixth floor, which was where the test center was at. It was just this big building with a bunch of different offices and different businesses. And it was actually annoying because there was construction going on right next door to the test room and they were the construction workers were like banging on the walls and you could hear a bunch of hammering and all these crazy machines going. So it was really actually distracting so I'm glad that I did bring the earplugs even though I could still hear them and I could feel the vibrations through the wall. Actually one more complaint, the bathrooms that were right next door to the test center were under construction. On test day, you don't want these kinds of things to happen because they freak you out. Like when things don't go as expected or, you know, as planned, then we freak out. But I think I did really well with trying to just maintain my calm, like, okay, everything's under construction here and nothing is going like I planned, but whatever, it's okay. It doesn't matter. It's just a bathroom. It's just a building. I'm taking my test no matter what. So, um... Don't let those things bother you because things won't go as planned. But we check into the room and we have to put all of our stuff in a cubby and we have to give them our ID and then read this examinee agreement thing about all the rules and regulations about the test center and what you can do in there, what you can't do in there. Things that you couldn't do in there was you can't access your cell phone once you enter. So even on breaks, we weren't allowed to read our, look at our cell phone. Same with study material. Once you got in, you can no longer look at study material even during the breaks. And then you could only access your locker if it was for medicine or for snacks or, or a drink. Then we got searched. Uh, one by one, we had to flip our pockets inside out. I had to turn my hood of my jacket inside out. Um, I had to like roll up my sleeves and roll up my pant legs. I had to show them my glasses to make sure that there was no recording devices in them. And then we got metal detected and fingerprinted and a picture taken. And all this stuff at like 7.45 in the morning. So then we were given four sheets of scratch paper that were stapled together. And one thing that you could not do was rip the pages apart. They had to stay stapled together and then we were given two number two pencils and get escorted to our little desk. Mine was number 12. <laughs> um, and then you start the test. So every time you left or entered that room, like to go to the bathroom or for your break or whatever, you got fingerprinted, you had to match your signature from whatever ID you brought, you had to write your checkout, what time you checked in, what time you checked out. Um, they searched you, um, they only searched you on the way in, but um, on the way out you had to do like all those other things. So when you are going to take your breaks, just make sure you keep that in mind that it's a process to get in and to get out of those rooms. So be quick. So I was running to the bathroom, like literally sprinting down the hall, which I actually felt like was a really good thing because it got my heart rate up. And after sitting there for 90 minutes at a time, like you get all like bogged down. 
I don't really know what else to talk about. So after the test, like I hit the last question and then there was a survey about the test center. There was a survey about the exam itself. And, and so I did that and you know, I was so freaking happy. Like when I hit that button and like the test was over, it just said like, congratulations, blah, blah, blah. I go out, I'm like smiling. I'm so happy that it's done. I got this like paper that said that I did complete the exam and you know, I had to sign out, do the fingerprinting, all that stuff and, and get my stuff and I left and I was so happy. Afterwards, like you saw in that video, flashback real quick. I'm so exhausted. I finished it like an hour and a half ago. I was freaking exhausted after, like, you know, an hour after the exam, like, eh, it was okay, and then I just hit a brick wall, and that's what happens when you have, you know, adrenaline going the entire day. It's exhausting. Yeah, that's pretty much my MCAT experience, like, the day of and how it went down. It's, uh... It was weird. It was so weird. You know, now I'm moving forward to um, applied medical schools, which I will probably talk about in another video. Um, so yeah, um, that's all for today, you guys. And thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, you can give it a thumbs down. I don't mind. Um, go ahead and subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And then if you have any questions about anything that's like MCAT or the things that I've done already that I know about, <laughs> you can leave them in the comment section down below. I will be sure to get back to you and all that good stuff. So yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye! My hair looks like a mullet. That felt so rushed, but like, I have espresso, so like, mm, I'm like wired and like talking about it, like just makes me all like jittery crazy, but yeah.